A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in the time of favor I answer you, the day of salvation I help you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages. Saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Always the, along the ways they shall find a pasture. Every, every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them, leads them, and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the south, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Bring forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, my Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget his infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb. Even should she forget, I will never forget. Verbum Domini. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near all who call upon him to all who call upon him in truth. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dominos Fabiscum, Lexio Sancte Evangelii, Se Gundam Johannum. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him because he's not only broken the Sabbath, but also God called God his own favor, uh, father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing for what he does, the son will also do. For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raised the dead and gives life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all, honor, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but is passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he also gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. He also gave power to exercise judgment because he is the son of man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear and my just, judgment is just because I do not seek my own will but the will of the one who sent me. Verbum Domini. Hi, right, my brothers and sisters in Christ and Father Stephen and Barato. I'm in a hotel room. I'm in a hotel room in Bowie, Maryland. Bowie, Maryland, that's where I am. And uh, uh, tried to push on harder last night, uh, but uh, just got too tired. Uh, but anyway, I'm heading to New Jersey. I'm going to spend time with my family later today and tomorrow morning. Uh, visit my son's grave, and then I'll be heading to New York City, um, uh, speaking to a men's group tomorrow night, and then Friday and Saturday, 
Again, you can go to themensmarch.com, themensmarch.com. If you're in the New York City area, we will be at Old St. Pat's on Friday night. And then uh, the Canyon of Heroes for the Gift of Life walk on Saturday morning. So check out themensmarch.com, themensmarch.com for the event Friday night at Old St. Pat's. And then Saturday morning uh, for the International uh, uh, Gift of Life walk. Now my brothers and sisters in Christ, we cannot separate belief, faith, from obedience. I've talked about this over and over and over again. And really Jesus uh, points this out because he says that those who have done good deeds will will raise to uh, the resurrection of the life and those who have done wicked deeds the resurrection of condemnation. Uh, so Jesus talks about good deeds and eternal life. And he says, those who hear the word, my word, and believe in the one who sent me as eternal life. Now, this is John chapter 5. This is the prelude to the Eucharistic discourse. And now our Lord has been unfolding the theology between him and his father uh, for a few chapters in John now. And now he's really, really starting to unpack it. And of course, in the Eucharistic discourse, in a matter of 30 verses, Jesus mentions his father directly or indirectly about 15 times. Uh, and so Jesus and the Father is one. Jesus says he does what the Father does also himself, right? He does what his Father does. And his Father has given judgment to his Son. All right, in other words, Jesus decides how we will be saved, right? The Father and Jesus are one. The Father has given Jesus the power to decide how we are to be saved. And he gives us the promise of eternal salvation through the Eucharist, right? The Eucharist, uh, which is thanksgiving for his crucifixion, for his death, for his resurrection, for his opening up the gates to heaven, uh, shedding his mercy down upon us, giving us the opportunity for eternal happiness. If we believe, if we believe and obey, right? And of course, it, that that's so redundant, right? Because you can't say, well, I believe in somebody and then just disregard everything that they say and everything that they do and just do what you want to do when you want to do it. This is how the Catholic Church is built. The Catholic Church is built on Jesus doing the will of the Father, the Church doing the will of Jesus, right? Uh, manifest in the Pope and the Magisterium. Uh, and then all of us following the lead of the Pope, uh, the bishops, the hierarchy of the church, right? Um, each of us, uh, uh, clergy, priest, uh, being obedient to his bishop, uh, the manifestation of the apostles on earth, the magisterium on earth. And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, our faith means nothing without our obedience. James says it another way, right, that without works, our faith is dead, right? Faith, belief, works, obedience, right? You always hear me say loving, humble obedience. That is the work of the Lord for us to be loving and humble in our obedience, uh, humble and loving in our obedience in terms of obeying Jesus as Jesus obeyed his father. Jesus humbled himself in saying that everything I do, I do for the father. I don't do my own will. I do the father's will came down from heaven in humility, was crucified in humility, served the Father in humility, and we're called to do the same thing. It's all about obedience, my brothers and sisters in Christ. 